hand spinners or fidget spinners as some people like to call them. They've been somewhat of a craze for at least five months now. So it's high time that I got my hands on a few and made a comparison video. So I've got a bunch of different variations here and what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of them, look at the design and test the sound and also see how long they can spin for. Okay, so let's dive straight in and take a quick look at each one of these spinners. And remember, if you want to check out more details, then just click the link in the description. So starting from the top, we have a tri spinner here. It's in silver color, but they also come in gold or black. There's a big gap in between each spoke so you can get your fingers in the middle quite easily. And it's also made, unlike the others, from a zinc alloy. Okay, now let's test the sound. That is what it sounds like. Okay, so next we have these interesting looking fellas and they come in green, blue and black. There's also a white version which I don't have here and as you can see, it looks like the Batman symbol. Okay, so let's give it a spin. It's got two spokes and it sounds like that. Just hold that up to the mic. It's made from plastic, whereas most of the rest are made from different metal alloys. And for the next, it's made from an aluminium alloy, and the design is like three love hearts, I suppose you could say. The ones I have here are black, gold, and pink, although there's also a blue version available. Let's give it a spin and see what it sounds like. This one here comes in blue, gold, or silver. It has a sharper sort of design, also a tri-spinner. Kind of looks a bit like an alien spaceship, I suppose. Let's give this one a spin. This one I have here, which comes in gold, is more of a curved sort of design, also made from an aluminium alloy. Now, let's give it a spin. Ooh, interesting sound. These two I have here, blue, black, and it also comes in gold, are again made from an aluminium alloy. But as you can probably already see, if you move them about a bit, they light up with the LEDs inside. So I'll give it a spin and you can see what that looks like. And the sound. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this is the FQ777. I've got it in a few different colors here. And as you might be able to see there, you can mix them up because these hand spinners are customizable. Let me talk a little bit more about them. So these hand spinners come in basically four colors, red, blue, gold, or rose gold. However, you can mix them up and customize them so the spokes can be a different color from the body. Now the body is made from an aluminum alloy and so are all the spokes, except in the case of the gold spokes, which are made from brass, which also make them a lot heavier. So for example, this one I have here is a lot heavier than the blue one I have in my other hand. It has a nicer feel to it, I think, being heavier but we'll have to see later whether it affects how long it can spin for. Now, what I've done with this one here is mix up the colors red and gold with the spokes. Also, you can even take off the body plates like I'm doing now and change the colors on those too. Let's just get these off. And you can see the steel bearings which you have on the inside. Now, because the spokes are removable, you can choose the number of spokes that you want on your hand spinner. For example, four, three, two, zero. Okay, back to business. Now it's time for the spin test. We're gonna put each of these hand spinners up against each other to see how long they can spin for. I'm not gonna try each different color since they'll have roughly the same spin time, except in the case of the FQ777, because the different colors have different weights in that design. Now, this test won't exactly be scientific because I might hit each different spinner with a different level of power, but it'll give you a rough idea of how good the bearings are and how long they can spin for. So, without further ado, let's go ahead 
and test these spinners. Oh, and we've had our first one to stop. Good. Oh, still going. Go on, keep going. Nice. Wow, it's still going. Ooh, starting to slow down. Almost stopped. And it's over. We have our winner. You win. So there's our winner. As for my personal opinion, the best sound was this curved gold tri spinner. That's what it sounds like. And for the look, I've gone with this LED tri spinner. There you go. Kind of gimmicky, but looks cool in my opinion. And for the feel of hand spinner, I think the best one is this FQ777 hand spinner with the brass spokes. Much heavier than the rest. To get your hands on one of these hand spinners, check out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.